Okay, folks, it's your boy AB from Smoking and Grilling with AB, and I'm back at it again in partnership with Walmart. This is number two of a three part series of the how to videos on how to use your Blackstone griddle. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use your zones and set them up. Okay, folks, now listen, let me go ahead and give you the setup and explain to you why we have zones, right? It offers where I can go ahead and take this one. You see this burner? Right here, I can have this hot, I can have this one hot, I can have this one medium, and this one cool. But normally, I like to divide mine into half. I keep this side at a low temperature and this side at a medium and a high. It allows me again to go ahead and cook something. Let's say I want to sear, I can sear, I can cook over here, and then if I want to keep it warm, once it's ready, I transfer it over here to this side, right? Super easy. Now, let me show you how to set it up. Now, if you take a look right here, look, we got 768 square inches of, of cooking area with four inches independently heated zones. And this patent omnivore griddle plate with built-in wind guards is designed for rapid heating and heat maintenance across the griddle surfaces while preventing warping and using less fuel. Now listen, I don't know about you guys, but listen, the best teacher is when I actually can see it and almost put my hands on it, right? So let me show you guys. You guys come on in here. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and start these, turn all of these to high, push my button, and that right there lit one, two, three, four. Now I'll set all of these on high and I usually let it run for about five minutes. Now the omnivore griddle plate right here requires 38,000 BTUs, right? Which actually requires less, fewer BTUs, you know, to produce a higher heat. And we all know what that means. That helps with your propane efficiency. All right, so like I told you guys, I start off with an even high, right? Bring everything up to temp like I like it. Now I'm getting ready to reduce it, right? So I want you guys to put that imaginary line right here in your mind. Everything on this right side, this will be low temp. Look at that. I went extremely low. Now, this will start to cool on its own gradually, right? Everything over here, this is going to be my cooking zone. I'm going to use two burners, drop this down to about a medium, right? And guess what, folks? I got some bacon to put on here. And then, you know what? Bacon is great. Any pork would be great for your seasoning, right? So, you can look at it right now. This is what you want to have when you season. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my bacon on. Now, you can hear it's nice and hot. You can imagine if I was doing burgers, this would work right here. All right, so let's get these on like this. And I'll put another one right up here on the top. Look, nice, smooth, because we season, right? Now, I'm gonna have this part right here, because this is my cooking zone. This is where everything get hot. I could have put, I wouldn't do eggs this high. I probably would have took this side right here. And then I would have had this at about a medium flame and I could have did my eggs over here and then I would have moved everything over. But remember, it's metal, so it kind of like gradually goes this way as you set your zones up. Now look, here go a little tip for you. Listen, we just making bacon, right? No matter if this was bacon, if we had patties on here, you want to stay around your griddle, right? You have to like look at it. So I know when things are about ready because when you put something on the top of the griddle or anything is hot, of iron like that listen once it sears it'll release itself so i should be able to take this and move this around seeing how i can't move it all the way it's starting to release now they almost about ready you see that right there that's when you know your food is released and then when it's ready you don't have to like keep picking it up so i'm gonna let it cook a little bit further and then we're gonna do a flip Now, you guys see that my bacon is done, right? So, I don't want it to cook anymore. So what I do is, I bring it over here. Notice you don't hear any sizzle or nothing like that. This is my cool zone. So this is where I take everything that from the hot and I transfer it over here. Remember, we got that imaginary line right here. I got these two burners. These are on super low, and this will keep all of my food warm. Now listen, after I explain the zones, you guys got that, I want to show you something that I do like about this that like really like leveled it up, right? So if you take a look right here, listen, I love the fact that it has a side shelf, you know, cutting board. Listen, it's removable. I can pull it out, do what I got to do, chop. We got veggies. We want to put them on the hot zone. We put them over here. We get them soft, then we move them over, right? Especially if we're doing like a fried rice recipe, right? And then take a look right here. Look, we got a paper towel holder. And if you guys been following me for a minute, you know that I use paper towels quite often. And this right here is so convenient. And then if you take a look right here, look, you can put your utensils, stage them here. It's on this side and the opposite side of that. See, boom. 
Now, there's so many things that I could tell you about. Look, I want to make sure I let you know about this holder right here, right? Good. You're going to put your scraper right here. You can put that there. It keeps everything right here at arm's distance, right? All you got to do is just bend just a little bit and pick up whatever. And then if you pay attention down here, look, they got two little eye beams right here. Listen, you put this here, you can put your extra storage. You got two of them right and if you have some you know utensils that are small they got a magnetic strip you can just stick them right here and there you have it now that you know how to set up your jones i'm gonna tell you this blackstone and myself and don't forget this is a partnership with walmart we'll have you guys looking like a professional chef in no time so don't forget to look out for the third part in this three-part series right these are how-to videos and how to use your blackstone griddle and you know what this is in partnership again with walmart and i i promise you we're gonna get you ready for memorial day and if you've been watching my videos for a minute you know this part right here guess what folks we out peace